Look, those by-election results in Queensland over the weekend spelt big trouble for the Miles State Labor government. And if repeated at a general election later this year, would produce a new coalition government on Australia's mainland. In the seat of Ipswich West, a swing of 17% is likely to return a coalition MP in what was once considered safe Labor territory. And in the seat of Inala, a 20% swing was not enough for Labor to lose, but if repeated, would mean a total wipeout at the state election due in October. The Queensland State Labor government is a regime that really deserves to lose. For bloating the public service, for imposing punitive taxes on mining, for neglecting infrastructure, mismanaging health and losing control of a youth crime wave. Because the police, well, they've been demoralised and the judiciary stacked with politically correct appointments, crime has exploded, particularly in places like Townsville, where it looks like a former One Nation candidate has been elected mayor. More than 50,000 criminal offences have been committed in Queensland every month, the highest rate this century and up roughly a third under the current government. Last year, robbery was up 16%, assault 11%, an unlawful entry or home evasion, invasion up 5%. In Queensland, as elsewhere, Labor's essential problem is it's gone from being a working class party to a party of the Green Left. Now, this was highlighted over the weekend by a lament from former ACTU president, former federal Labor MP Jenny George, in a long article in the Australia newspaper. Now, for some time now, Jenny George has been on a letter-writing campaign bemoaning Labor's surrender to the climate cult and the impact that has on jobs and cost of living for working people. Now, she's explained that she hasn't changed her pro-worker position, but that the Labor Party certainly has. Says Jenny George, I feel like the party left me. I didn't leave it. Labor governments are now vulnerable right around the country, provided there's a coalition that's strongly in favour of putting jobs at least on a par, if not ahead, of emission cuts and putting the aspirations of everyday people ahead of inner city obsessions like identity politics. For too long, the Palaszczuk and then the Miles government's weaknesses were masked by a labor light LNP opposition. But not under David Crisofulli, who's promised to end Labor's arrest and release scheme for young offenders and the green lawfare against resource and infrastructure projects and sought out the paralysis and overspending on Brisbane's Olympics bid. Finally, the centre-right has someone who wants a fight with Labor over the things that matter to ordinary people, not to just be a less worse version of them, but a real alternative. Crisofulli can win. And Dutton can win like him if they find a way for traditional Labor voters to support a coalition team who respects what they do for a living and respects their values. This is where stalwarts like Jenny George are the canary in the coal mine for Labor, and I mean that quite literally.